This video, I'm going to be explaining how you can defend any kind of trips tight end, tray wide flex, trips flex, any kind of those formations um, in Madden 25. If you guys want to get my full ebooks, make sure that you join our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. That's where you're going to get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks to help you get better at Madden. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a coverage concept that can be applied to almost any formation in the game. I'm just going to be showing it specifically from the Dime 3-2 formation because I think that Dime 3-2 does have the most capabilities when it comes to playing defense in this game and covering the entirety of the field. Now, again, if you want to get my Dime 3-2 or dollar defensive ebook, it is updated in our school community. So if you're not a member of the site yet, the link is in the description below. Coaching adjustments that I recommend for running this defense, auto flip off, auto alignment on base, option defense on conservative, and all of your zone drops are going to be on default. Then your audibles for this, because we are going to be audibling into our defenses, we're going to have cover six Willie, DB fire two, edge blitz three, and strong safety zone blitz. Now, as far as your base play, you're going to be coming out in double safety go. You are going to be coming out in this defense flipped every single time and then audibling into whatever the coverage is that you want to call or what really more importantly whatever the blitz is that you want to be able to call because these four audibles are set up to have four very different blitzes so most of the time a trip style formation will basically be operated from the right hash mark so we want to be in the play strong safety zone blitz if we're on this specific hash right and then uh, all we're going to do, and I'm going to get to the coverage in just a minute. I just want to show you the basic blitzing concept um, is we're going to take the safety, put him in a quarter, and then you're just going to stand over here. And you see that this is a really, really effective send for blitz. They're going to have to set up different types of pass protection for this. And then to kind of save us time, if we're not on the right hash mark, we would probably just go to either cover six Willie or edge blitz three. If we go to cover six Willie, again, you're just going to kind of stand out here, and a lot of times this is going to loop into the A-gap, okay? So those are a couple of different blitzes. We obviously, obviously detail this more in depth in our ebook as far as what exactly why it works and what to do. But now what I wanted to break down for you is my favorite way to cover this formation. So my favorite way to cover this formation, it's going to look a little bit weird, but we're going to co go to the strong safety zone blitz. And what I want you to do is I want you to put this slot corner on the right side on a vertical hook. And really important, I want you to shade him underneath uh, before you do anything else. So we shade him underneath before we do anything else. This is going to make sure that the yellow zones are going to play more underneath for check down routes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to quarter inside quarter the safety that is on the trip side. And then on the on the tight end side, we're going to utilize a soft squat on this outside player. Now, a quick tip that I want to give you is if the if it's trips tight end, or if it's trips tight end flex or tray offset or tray wide flex, where the tight end is on the line of scrimmage like this, this is pretty much what I like to do. I like to leave it like this. If the tight end is out wide, or if they motion anybody across the formation, I like to put a deep half. OK, the reason I don't like to have a deep half is I don't think it's really necessary if they don't have anyone outside of the numbers. The inside third will do exactly what you need him to do. OK, now I'm not going to really show the blitz anymore. I just want to show the coverage here and I want to show why we don't use a deep half. One of the most popular route combinations that you're going to see from people is they're going to go to some type of tight end corner, right? And then on the back side, they might run, you know, whatever combo that they want to run. I just want to show you what the soft squat does to a tight end corner route, especially when the running back's not blocked. And obviously, they're going to have to set up pass protection. You'll see here that the soft squat, no matter how deep the corner route is, is going to match him. And he's going to consistently be able to play the tight end to the corner. This opens up a lot of possibilities for the rest of our defense. And then let's just say hypothetically, if you're watching this video and you're like, but what if they run the old school level sale play? Well, then yes, you would basically just take this tight end if you needed to, 
What I like to do, and this is kind of the, the format of the defense and really why it's so good, is because if they're doing a lot of like basically any route combo from this defense, you can switch stick onto this middle third defender and pretty much play it. So you're going to see here, so like if I see the tight end doing some stuff, right, if I see something like this, I might switch stick onto this middle third and go guard the tight end. Just something simple like that is a very effective way to kind of handle that. Normally, you're not going to see them putting the running back on a route, and the reason why is because if they do, we have, again, one of the better blitzes in the game, okay? So what are some other popular route combinations that this is formation, or this is really, really good at defending? Well, one of the more popular ones that I've seen recent memory is something like this. This is really good at defending this play, and the reason why is because you're going to be able to switch stick onto this middle third and basically just be able to lurk this crosser. So I see that combo. I'm going to switch stick off, see how that three rec does a good job of playing that check down. And then as you can see there, and obviously if we sent pressure, we would have you know had a sack by now. So that's one of, my, that's one of the main combos that you're going to see. Another combo that is really, really popular is usual, utilizing like a slant post concept where they're going to take the tight end and they're going to put him on like a crosser or a post and then they'll have kind of something like this, right? Really, really popular way to play. So what we're going to be able to do here defensively, again, is, and you're going to notice a theme here, is we're going to be able to switch stick on this middle third and cut this tight end across the field. And then we have that inside quarter kind of if they ever – if they do re end up running like a backside post or something like that. And then another play that I see a lot is, uh, I'm gonna try to recreate it, but it's basically it's basically this with like a tight end, well, something like this, right? Well, because the safety is down in the box and because we put him on a quarter zone, you're gonna see here that this inside quarter is gonna do a really, really good job of defending that. We have a hard flat for the running back. And so, again, it's the same kind of principle, basically. When we see somebody cutting across the middle of the field, we're switch sticking onto this middle third. It allows that quarter to play that streak a little bit more effectively. All in all, this is not the end-all, be-all coverage. It's not the only coverage that I run against trips, right? We show you more stuff like this in our full ebook. But this coverage defends 99% of things that most popular trips offenses are going to run because of your capability to constantly switch stick onto that middle third defender. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you want to check out my website, our school community is where you can get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. The link to sign up for that is in the description down below.